Good day everyone, you're welcome once again to this channel, Dr. Fred Academy. In this video, today we shall be looking at the muscles that act on the tarsal and then digital joints. Okay, these muscles are actually divided into two groups. We have the cranial group or craniolateral group and then the caudal group or, cord or caudomedial group. Okay, so this is the cranial group. This hole here are the cranial group of muscles while these are the caudal groups of muscles okay now this uh, these muscles here the function okay to move the tarsal joint and also the digital joint so let's start with the cranial group this cranial group uh, the function to flex the tarsal joint and extend the digital joint okay so they flex the tarsal joint and then extend the digital joint why the caudal group okay these caudal groups now they extend this tarsal joint and then flex the digital joint okay so what this cranial group does to the tarsal joint and digital joint uh, the caudal group does the opposite to same joint okay so as a cranial group flexes the tarsal joint, the caudal group extends it, okay. While as the cranial group extends the digital joint, the caudal group uh, flexes it. All right. So let's look at these muscles that are involved in these two different categories: the flexors or the cranial, uh, the, the cranial group, and then the caudal group. Now, the cranial groups include uh, this first one here, which is called the tibialis cranialis. All right, the tibialis cranialis. That is the first one, the tibialis cranialis. The second one here is the long digital extensor. Okay, this is the long digital extensor. Okay, now the third one here is the peroneus longus. The peroneus longus. Okay, I hope you are following it carefully. The peroneus longus. Okay, we have another one here, okay, just after the peroneus longus, which is called the lateral digital extensor. Okay, that's a lateral digital extensor. Right, and then we have the fifth one here, which is the peroneus brevis. Okay, it's a very short muscle. Okay, this is it here, the peroneus brevis. So I take it again. Remember, I'm talking about the cranial group. Okay, I'm talking about the cranial group which uh, flexes the tarsal joint and extends the digital joint. And I said they include the tibialis cranialis or cranial tibia. The second one is the long digital extensor. The third one is the peroneus longus. Okay, of course, after the peroneus longus, coming downwards, you find the peroneus brevis. All right, and then finally, the fifth one here is the the lateral digital extensor. Okay, now let's look at the caudal group. The caudal group includes the following. The gastrocnemius. Right, this is the gastrocnemius. As you can see here, okay. This muscle is the gastrocnemius. It's a large muscle, right? Okay. And then this is the superficial digital flexor. Okay, remember this is gastrocnemius. And then this is the superficial digital flexor. Okay, why this is the deep digital flexor. Remember that these caudal groups, they extend the, the tarsal joints, okay, and then flex the digital joint. Thank you for listening, and uh, I would advise as usual that you do well to subscribe to this channel, Dr. Fred Academy, and then don't forget to click on the notification bell icon when you have so done. Thank you.